What's up everybody, welcome back to the House Extras today. Like in the title, we're throwing the hammer effect and we're testing the versatility of it. I'm gonna warm up, find a place I know I can strike, and then I'm gonna move two boards every single shot throughout an entire game and see what I can put up with this ball and the versatility that this ball brings to my bag. So let's get into it and let's get into hopefully striking a lot. Taking a little warm up. Hook a lot. Hook. Hook. This game I'm gonna challenge myself. I'm gonna move a little bit every shot and see how deep I can get, how deep this ball is able to play. See if it will keep continuing the more I move across the lane, because sometimes when I move across the lane, you see a ball start to slowly die, and there's a limit to how deep you can get with a ball, like 268 during my warm-up game. And now I guess this game is for research purposes only, because I'm moving every shot. One shot from here. I definitely fouled on that shot. Good news is it hooked too much, so if it hooked too much, it means I can definitely move. I think I threw it too slow. That's the beauty of it. If you're lined up for a strike, you can throw it just like a strike shot to test, so might have done a little cheating on that one. I'm gonna go two and one, just like I said, every shot. So over the course of the game, I should move about 20 boards with my feet. I started on 16, I should end at 36. Shot's gonna be 18, normal speed. Hook. All right. So if I'm gonna throw at a normal speed, you saw it shoot a little further down lane because I moved two boards in. The first one was slow, that one was normal. I'm probably gonna go another two and go back to the slower speed. Really testing the limits of this ball. Like I said, there's two things that Hammer's never done before. It kind of smells a little bit like oranges. It's also the first four color ball ever made in the bowling industry. So that one was at, first one was 16, that one was 18. This one's gonna be at 20, slower speed, like I said. Oh, I don't think that was quite slow enough. It was a good shot, good projection, just not quite slow enough to get it to pick up in the front part of the lane, which gives me a little wary that I will be in trouble from here on out, but maybe with a little hand position change, another speed change, and we'll be good when we move to 22. Last one went a little further down lane. You saw the first game, this ball was trucking through the pins, getting pretty much every single seven pin out. So that one left the seven with a messenger, which is good. Messenger means the pins wanna fly left to right. I just gotta match it up to get it to hook a little early. 16, 18, 20, fourth frame, 22. Slow ball speed, dig the fingers in a little bit here. Quick little break in the action, just to remind you guys that we are still doing a 20,000 subscriber giveaway where we're giving away three balls to three different people as voted on last video you guys chose. Instead of picking one person to get a full arsenal, you guys wanted three people to get one ball each. So that's what we're going with. Click that subscribe button if you haven't already and make sure to stick around to the end of the video so I can tell you guys how to enter. Much better. Probably just gotta keep making that same move over and over where I move to slow it down a little bit, try and get after it a little more at the bottom. Spare strike, spare strike, pretty good to me. Oh, a little offset rack here. 24, really slow. Dig those fingers and rotate this thing. That one was good. I'm getting a little concerned that the lane is not broken down enough for me to keep moving. I'm already at 24, I gotta go to 26 next. I do not know how much more room left, but I'm gonna keep throwing it slower, adjusting the hand a little bit at the bottom. A little further up on the approach, probably slow it down a little more. Hook. Yikes. Didn't really catch that one at the bottom. Time to go brookie. That's unfortunate. 
I washed out because I missed it at the bottom. Time to uh, hit this one as hard as I can. And I have to move another two. I don't know, you guys let me know down below in the comments if you guys have ever had to move two after washing out further inside. Because that's the move I'm making. Gotta throw this thing slow, slow. 28, probably looking at like 21 at the arrows. The late seven. This ball is showing me some versatility. I'm also practicing versatility, but the ball is showing me that as I cross the lane, if I do what I'm supposed to, it's gonna keep making a good shape. If you guys are looking to practice, this is a great game to practice your versatility. Pick your favorite ball. The goal score here is probably, hopefully I can string a couple, obviously the split, but hopefully I can string a couple to get above 2.0 or to 2.10 or 220, hopefully. I was looking at 21, probably now looking at 22. Hook, 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 hook. Ah, just not quite enough rotation. That's one of the harder things for me to do is rotate the ball. It's hard to get my hand to do that at the bottom. More rotation on this next one. Again, the lane's not nearly broken down enough for me to do this. I can punch out for 214, which would be a great score. Probably need to loft it a little bit here. I'm crossing the drive. Looking at 22. on 32 that time, lofted a little bit. The ball, as I move in across the lane, the ball is still continuing, still doing the right thing, if I do the right thing. So it's showing me that if I rotate it, if I get it up the back, the ball listens, the ball understands what I'm trying to do on the lane, and it responds to what I'm trying to do. So that tells me it should be good for a lot of bowlers. It's a versatile ball. I was able to play, you know, probably 13, 14 out to five, and now I'm crossing probably 25 at the arrows out to about seven, eight. Now I'm gonna be standing on 34. Throwing it slow, rotating it a lot. For 200. Next one's for 210. I'm surprised, usually when I do something like this and I continuously move across the lane, the ball continuously looks worse. Don't get me wrong, I threw a horrible shot in the sixth frame and washed out. But after that, I mean, whatever I've done, the ball's done. If I've rotated it more, the ball's hooked more down lane. If I've gotten up the back, the ball's gone a little more forward down lane. Unfortunately for me on the washout. So one more shot to get to 210. I would say it's an excellent score. I was staying on 34. Now I'm just gonna continue the two board move, go to 36. Look another one in, so I'm looking at 24. The amount of messengers I've thrown that have gone in front, ridiculous. 203, I'll take it. What I've learned from this bowling ball, like I told you guys again, I'm gonna hammer back down. This is the first ball ever in the industry to be a four colored bowling ball, which I think is wild. And the second thing, it's a first for hammer ever. It's a little bit scented, it kinda smells like oranges. My closing thoughts is that this ball is super versatile. If you guys wanna get one, be sure to check it out at buddiesproshop.com, there's a link down below. Using my link, it'll help Buddy's Pro Shop out, it'll help me out, and it'll help you score a little more if you get this ball. And if you guys like this video, click that subscribe button, and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Until then, peace. What happens if I play outside of five? As always guys, thank you for sticking around all the way to the end of the video. And if you guys want this bowling ball, you can click that link down below in the description to get yours at buddiesproshop.com or any of your bowling needs at buddiesproshop.com using that link down below. It'll let them know that I sent you. And if not, there's another link down below for the entry to the giveaway. All you gotta do is click the giveaway link. It'll bring you to a web page. You fill out your email and that way we can let you know if you won one of the three bowling balls when we hit 20,000 subscribers. So we're closing in fast. Just make sure you hit that link down below. So again, thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next video. And until then, have a good one.